मधुपस्थान आत्मैश्वर्य स्मृति पुंसा भक्ति वयामी The supreme personality, God had said, "O oh, beloved demigods, you offered your prayers to me with great knowledge, and I am certainly most pleased with you." A person is liberated by such knowledge, and thus he remembers my exalted position, which is above the conditions of material life. Such a devotee is fully purified, offering prayers in full knowledge. That is the source of devotion service to me. So, devotees have offered prayers. and he said krishna you are the supreme you know this you know this you do this you do this krishna is saying i am satisfied ab somebody may say krishna is so proud is not proud his position is uh, you know it's a fact i told you the joke somebody went to a devotee i said bombay and then he told him why you i read bhagavad gita but krishna looks to be so proud I said, "Okay, I'll tell you that answer. Who are you?" I said, "I, I, I am uh, the professor in this college." Okay, that's fine. And then, which is the college? What if I tell you you are a you are a peon in your college? No, that will not be fair. I am a professor. So, if Krishna says that I am the supreme personality of Godhead, it's a fact. Krishna is not proud. It's a fact. I am the controller of everything. It's a fact. And when you offer prayers in that way, that's also a fact. you are coming to real knowledge so actually offering prayers is at least recognizing that we are totally dependent on the lord we are coming slowly a sadhana when you are offering prayers you are not on the platform therefore prayers cannot be composed by anybody except the liberated acharyas ordinary people we don't compose prayers it has no meaning just like nowadays that's a fashion any festival they put film songs almost all the festivals first thing it is written by somebody who has no knowledge on spiritual matters it is sung by somebody who has no belief in what he is praying and on top of it acted by somebody else it is the avaishnava mukho geetam putam harikatha amritam shravanam nayav kartam we should not hear and there is no result of that okay the effect is also like that only Prabhupada says, I don't know which is his prayer, but it's very popular. Tumi, 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 this thing, tumi, this thing. They say all this tumi, tumi. Prabhupada says, but who is that tumi? <laughs> They don't say. Tumi cha mata pita cha veta tumi. So many some songs are there like that. Prabhupada, who is that tumi? So vague, so vague. <laughs> They were Prabhupada used to say, we know everything. We know Krishna God's name. We know his address. We know everything about him. Right, that's Krishna consciousness. The devotee is aware of everything, and the devotion service to Krishna is the fastest way. It is just like taking a lift. You have to go hundred stories, stories. You go step by step, and devotion service is chick. What is devotion service? Devotion service means desire to please Krishna. Anya bilatya shunya gyan karma adi anavritam 
అనుకూలి అయిన అనుకూలి అయిన ఫేవరేబులీ జస్ట్ లైక్ సంబడి గోస్ వెరీ నైస్లీ వన్ టు వాట్ యువర్ స్టెలింగ్ ప్రాపర్ ద ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్స్ అండ్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్ టూ వేస్ వీ లుక్ అట్ ద డీటీస్ ఇన్ ద న్యూ ఫైట్ స్టేజెస్ విచ్ వీ ఆర్ ఇన్ ఆల్ నౌ డీటీ రిప్రజెంట్స్ కృష్ణ ఇట్స్ ద రిప్రజెంటేషన్ ఆఫ్ కృష్ణ అండ్ ఇన్ అడ్వాన్స్ స్టేజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సాక్షాత్ కృష్ణ దే వాజ్ అన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ దట్ టు బ్రాహ్మణ సు గుడు బృందావన్ అండ్ ద యంగ బ్రాహ్మణ సర్వ్స్ ఎల్డర్ బ్రాహ్మణ వెరీ నైస్లీ అండ్ ఎల్డర్ బ్రాహ్మణ ఐ సో హ్యాపీ విత్ దెమ్ ఇట్ సేస్ ఐ వుడ్ గివ్ యూ సంథింగ్ ఐ వుడ్ గివ్ యూ మై డాటర్ ప్లీజ్ మ్యారీ ద డాటర్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఆర్ యూ టాకింగ్ you know a first thing you're talking in a temple in front of deities be careful he was very pious secondly this is not practical i am a poor brahmin you come from a rich aristocratic brahmin family it is just not a match nobody will agree to this no 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 previously uh, you know it was like that the father is to decide okay today such a system is different uh, and it is decided it's done is no 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 please now it's done also if it is done please now speak in front of the deities so he spoke to the deities i have given my daughter to this person for marriage it's decided tk and then you know the big drama happens when he comes back the uh, home of the elder brahmana there is a tumult that how this is possible and this person must have cheated you that, that, that they just don't agree his wife says if you proceed with this i'm going to commit suicide so he becomes hesitant you know there is such a revolt at his home he doesn't know what to do and he's praying to the lord he was also a great devotee but he was stuck by the situation he was praying to the lord and the younger brahmana he was very happy peaceful but he was very conscious that he has given a promise to the lord which is not fulfilled so let me uh, go and remind him it will be a great disaster a great aparada so he goes to him and in his house moment he enters the whole house is you know they are seeing only in material way they attack him kar everybody knows the story it's a famous story they attacking and the younger his his son comes out and he says you know he just th- throws him out of the house you get out of this place blah 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 and so whole neighborhood collects what happened what is this commotion going on today commotion is very common previously people are very peaceful so what is it going on why there is shouting here he said no oh, this happening see he promised to me and today they are speaking like this and all that and then you know the son comes out he said no oh, this person has cheated blah 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 so the people say okay how do we resolve all this so the uh, the son says okay if he can bring a witness so where is the witness the dt the witness yeah if he can bring the dt as a witness we will accept so the brahmana was young brahmana was actually having full faith in the lord he said actually he knows his promise uh, the elder rich brahmana but because of the situation he is silent i know him anyway you are telling me to bring the dt i'll bring but first thing now put down to writing this promise because you people can't be trusted <laughs> your your father said so many thing is sitting silent now right so the right yes if he brings a dt or do- my sister can he marry to him he is an atheist so he is fine with him okay sign so he gets all the neighbors to sign 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 witness and then the brahmana said he also signs okay if the dt brings the done and then what happens he goes to vrindavana and uh, he says to the deity that uh, please come you have some witness some work to do you have to be a witness somewhere so deity say because his faith was so sincere deity could not hold him so that's why div krishna actually devote is captured krishna by their love he could not say anything you know he could not stay silent he said no i am a deity i cannot walk he said if you can speak you can walk also so proper writes very sweetly in the purport krishna became defeated by his devotee a devotee defeated krishna on next stage what happens <laughs> in the next stage uh, the dt you know so at that moment he says to the dt you are not the dt you are sakshat son of nand maharaj i am not seeing you as i am seeing you as son of nand maharaj standing here. the proper says this is a platform of advanced devotee we theoretically follow the shastra and when you look at the deities we see it is you know representation of krishna kar it is krishna himself but we can't feel that true a pure devotee feels completely different completely different you know there was a the instance that took prabhupa to england and he was insisting to go even though his health was very 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 bad 
he was just on the chair just like this uh, and they took him to england and they put him before in front of the dt radha landanishwara and prabhupada was looking at the dt and the devotee is looking at prabhupada and the dt so much love between him and the dt he was crying looking at the dt for long time <laughs> Yeah, that is the platform. You know, the one said, if Prabhupada came to temple and asked, asked the pujari, is the deity happy? Is the deity happy? <laughs> Because he is just doing gada gada gada, offer something, oh yeah, vago. So we forget actually, all of our life, we are focused whether I am happy or I am not happy. Correct? That is our platform. I am not happy nowadays. I am happy nowadays. Correct? This is the platform we are all living in. in a crippled stage of existence a devotee is not in that stage what the devotee is feeling is krishna happy or krishna is not happy that is life other things will go on the world life tamasha will go on up and down but that is not his focus you know he may be at any inconvenience but his focus is whether krishna is happy there is the famous past times was krishna wanted to prove to narad muni that the gopis are higher devotees than even so called rigid brahmanas So he tells Narad Muni, "See, you do one thing. You first go to the Brahmana and say I have a headache, and it can only be relieved if I get the dust of my devotees. So please give the dust of your lotus feet, and uh, Krishna will apply, and his headache will be over." So he goes to the Brahmana and he says that you know, give some dust. So the Brahmana says, "No, no, no, no. We will go to Naraka. If the dust of our feet touches the Lord's head, huh?" What is this you are telling? So he comes back. Narada is already understanding. They are more focused on themselves. They are not focused on Krishna. When Pujari is doing arti, he is thinking, "Oh, I am doing arti." Shastra says, "When you do arti to Krishna, so much punya comes. My life will become." He is only thinking about himself. Possible. Most of the people when they go to the deity and they offer obeisance, whom are they thinking about? Please tell me. My Lord, are you comfortable? It's little hot. I think I should make the place more. You know, he is thinking about the Lord. Is it fine? The dress is good. I hope the jewelry is, you know, accepted. Whatever little seva we have done, we will try to improve the service. We know we are so wretched. We are not fully focused on pleasing you. That is a devotee will offer prayer. And how a so-called devotee will offer prayer? My Lord, I'm not feeling happy today. Please make me happy. Hey, <laughs> Baba, why you are not focused on the Lord? I told you the famous joke uh, when one very rich man he came to Mangalore and I met him certain time and he said that since morning I am sitting here. Every person is coming with a sob story. You know, this is there my child admission in the college. I don't have money and I gave some donations. Since morning I have been. He is a big donor. Give, but not one person asked me this much. Did you have a glass of water? Look at this. This is the condition of the society. Nobody. They are talking to me. They are just thinking how to squeeze me. exploit me you know and that is how the society is actually and that is how we are but putting krishna at the center then the things start slowly starts changing and everything becomes very very wonderful so here devatas also are focused on themselves but at the same time because they are devotees proper say sometimes devotees when they are in distress they start feelingly offering prayers because of the situation just like there is something called shamshan vairagya you know all the people i will become this i will become this when there is the boom big death in the family uh, they, they have sometimes oh all this will go one day at that moment they have some little detachment what i am thinking i am becoming i will become this hero that hero one day is all will be smashed correct at that time lot of vairagya have you seen it huh? Ha huh? you have seen we would become very philosophical at that day you know the oh it is like that finally life is temporary <laughs> so above that is momentary so they, they they are devotees devatas are devotees and much greater devotees than us but only because we are the holding the lotus feet of acharya we can speak something more <laughs> otherwise you are not qualified but at the same time Uh, when the situation becomes comfortable, they forget <laughs> how many times Indra has done mistake. You know how many times it was. Once his uh, guru gave him a garland and he put it on the elephant's head, <laughs> his own prasada. 
<laughs> and I think he became big that time. Now this time Guru came to the assembly, he neglected him. He was so happy, everything is successful. I wanted money, I got. I wanted followers, I got. I got beautiful women. What else do I want? Life is success. Correct? So he, there was, what is the need of spiritual knowledge? You know. So in the same way, we see that this is what is needed in our spiritual life. So not to become complacent, to fix up ourselves in such a way that our time is properly utilized and we are able to think how do I please Krishna huh? it looks very simple it's a very big change constantly we are absorbed how I will be happy instead of that we change the focus how Krishna will be happy and DT facilitates that you cannot think in the air ah, Krishna you know it's a practical you know you are bathing the DT oh I think we should polish once in a while. Your focus has come to the Lord. Instead of focus, DT, how nice it is actually. It facilitates your working for the Lord's pleasure. You are eating, you are so hungry. Let me offer to the Lord. So these all things help. So Krishna has now accepted the prayers and it is saying, I am pleased. This is very, very important. You know, in the Queen Kunti prayers also, uh, it is said very nicely, very, very nicely. That when Queen Kunti offered prayers, you know, it's a beautiful prayer. Namase Purusham Twadyam Ishwara Prakate Paraha Alaksham Sarva Bhutanam Antarabahi Avastita Maya Javanika Achanam Correct. Beautiful prayers in Bhagavatam. Sometimes we can try to remember these prayers. So, when she is offering the prayers, then what happens at that moment? She is, uh, Krishna hears the prayers. And what does Krishna say? Prabhupada says, in the Bhagavatam Shloka says, Krishna just smiled. And that smile was so enchanting. What was it? It was so enchanting. So Prabhupada says, people are enchanted in this world. But depends what they are enchanted by. Devotees are enchanted by the beautiful smile of Krishna. And karmis are enchanted by smiles in other way in this world. Can I? Keep smiling. You see, always it is keep smiling. But the point is, what are we enchanted? A devotee, look at the smiling face of Krishna. They know that smile. And it's not easy to understand the smile on the face of Krishna. Smile on the face of Krishna, to understand why Krishna is smiling, is because Radharani is next to him. And to understand the love of Radharani, you have to really advance. You understand? It is said, the first and second canto of Bhagavatam is like two lotus feet of Krishna. The other cantos is like you are slowly going, you know, above thighs and going up, 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 up. And tenth canto is the face of Krishna. And the uh, Krishna's leela with the gopis, it's a smile on his face. <laughs> so to understand the smile of Krishna is not easy. You have to be under the transcendental platform. So nobody, because why do anyone smile? When you get a loving dealing from somebody, pure, beautiful dealing. And nobody can give such a pure love to Krishna as the gopis. It is fully satisfies Krishna. Okay? So in this way we can understand this. So here the devatas are offered prayers and Krishna is satisfied. Krishna is very very happy. Why? It is all facts. There is no flattery here. Just like in the modern day any program, event it is there. Somebody comes. I remember sometimes you to organize events. I used to ask the secretaries or the ministers and all. Can you tell something about the person? And some, I, whatever I have to speak, I know it's a flattery. This person has done nothing. Maybe just looted the country and made name for himself. That's it. But he just slept. We all know that. It's a fact. Unqualified people leading the country. It's a fact. So, but whatever praise is offered, it's an open flattery. When you offer praise to Krishna, it's a fact. Therefore, throughout the day, we are all looking for heroes. That's our nature. True? Isn't it our nature? But Prabhupada says there is nobody famous as devotee. Why? Because he genuinely offers proper praise to the Lord. All of the people are only flattering each other. You know, I always give the joke, Aho Rupam, Aho Dhoni. The donkey sees the uh, camel, says Aho Rupam. And camel sees the donkey, what does he say? Aho Dhoni. Oh, what a nice voice you have. So this is not a platform. Huh? Therefore, our... Just oh, in the society, uh, there is no reality. 
the reality is in the devotees uh, therefore devotees are after sat they are called sant because they are after a truth and what are they doing they are offering genuine prayers to the lord which are all full of facts shri prabhupad ki shri mad bhagavatam ki Yeah. 